Notice board, as you can see here, we are almost at 4,000 subscribers. 40 more to go guys, come on, let's get there before Christmas. Where there's good news, there's always bad. Louis Moult's gone into pressing. Uh, I'll do a separate video on the actual transfer and I'll show the best bits from my events running alongside Louis Moult's career at Motherwell because it feels like myself and Louis had a bit of a spiritual journey. We're going deep, but uh, there's more to be covered on that. But of course, uh, we've got a whole match day vlog to get through. Also, this video is sponsored by One Football. It's a fantastic football app where you can get all your latest news from the fantastic world of football. There's not a better way to get ahead of your rivals. The link to download is at the top of the description. Please go check it out. <laughs> Out the Fur Park Tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to episode 167 of Around the Grounds. Today, it's Partick Thistle versus Motherwell. I've not seen us win at Firhill before, so hopefully I can use that title I've been longing to use since I started going on away days, which is Firhill for Pills. <laughs> uh, Dad's got some happy memories though at Firhill. Do you want to spill? Yeah, there's, there's a couple. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been there. The last time I was there was actually, I think, Hogmanay 1993. Motherwell won, Motherwell won 1 0 with a, a headed goal from Brian Martin in the first half, and I laughed it up. <laughs> I also saw John McStay score a late winner to win 1 0 late in the first division. They got Motherwell promotion one year. Hey. I've seen a 2 2 draw. I've, I've, uh, Toby Coyne got a late penalty. Mm -hmm. I've not been there all that often. It's one of these ones that, for whatever reason, I couldn't get to go to. However, yeah. we're going tonight. Come, Come on, on the well. And also, because it's like 12 days of Christmas, I've sort of got to have a Christmas as eight track <laughs> until Rangers away. So it's going to start now. I'm on the well. <laughs> Right, so after searching for a wee while, we finally found a place to park after only finding one sign for Mary Hill in Glasgow, but that's no problem. We've actually landed in Mary Hill now. Let's go on the well. We've been joined by Man Beat, of course, Peter Thistle. Subscribe to him. Link in the description. What's the score going to be today, lads? Uh, I don't know why I'm optimistic after getting beat 5 1 after Mom, but 2 1 Thistle. Uh, this year seems to go on and edit it and like, do something like that. <laughs> I mean, is there any better way to introduce this guy? Just look at the price! Haha! 
It's the only way football's ever going to be affordable. Time reaction as if you want to see it. Dad, you're the guy who looks to all football tips and advice. He's the guy that's always been there for me. He taught me everything I know about this song here. What's going on? Injuries. It just shows we've not got a good enough squad. It's so thin. And we can't force them with an effort, but we lost some better goals. Yeah, the goalkeeper doing the time more. First goal, jumping to the right instead of straight to the left. Uh, and then uh, second goal should have been felled into Kabukin over there. Yeah. Uh, third goal, they were keen to get the ball and Salmon did well, but we were slow. But we've not really created much. I just, in a second half, just feed three up until I'm just to run at them and see what they can do. But uh, we need an early goal, but it's yeah. like we're going to make two changes. Yeah, bigger man and Tans are warming up in the sideline there. I would, I would take the moment off. Yeah, I would take the moment off as well. It's been so slow. Get that 
guy away, man. Absolutely no stop. Christmas theme for the soundtrack and although I can't really be bothered it doesn't really feel like Christmas until we win another game Top to toe in tailbacks Oh I got red lights all around I'm driving home for Christmas Yeah Get my feet on holy ground I think all that's been needed to say has been said. I mean, we were absolutely woeful in the first half. There's no hiding from that. A mixture between a bad refereeing decision and bad goalkeeping was the recipe for the first goal. Second goal, Charles Dunn loses a ball somehow and then he tries to chest the ball or something like that and he completely misses it and then the second goal scored. Third goal, Carl McHugh's caught possession and we just lose the ball. Alan Campbell does a poor attempt at trying to win the ball from Connor Salmon. The goal we got chopped off for offside, I still don't think it was offside, but maybe that's because I watched games through Clark Amber tinted specs. Then we got a goal back. Bowman, fantastic. But Cherry still tried to waste time as if the ball hadn't actually crossed the line. <laughs> uh, second goal. Of course, Tanner, that's probably one of the best goals I've seen us score this season. A uh, fantastic finish. Couldn't they get the third goal, could we? Although I'm certain we did. Except Charles Dunn, who was played on side by the boy that was actually had his left foot inside the six yard box when the ball was played. And I'm sure Charles Dunn was on the six yard line. So it was, it was very tight. And before anyone says the referee can't change his decision, Yes, he can, right up until the next phase of play has started. So, he's entitled to change his decision. Had that goal stood, and it'd been three each with ten minutes to go, I genuinely think we could have gone on to win the game. But, of course, we didn't, did we? Best player on the pitch for me was Elliot Freer. He was fantastic up and down that left-hand side. Every time we had the ball going forward, I knew he was going to beat his man. 
Also, Tanner was phenomenal when he came on as well. It's just a shame that Tanner and Bigger and Ivana aren't as effective when they start. Anyway, Kamara can wait tomorrow. I don't know when this will be uploaded. I'm hoping it'll be Friday. If not, it'll be the early hours of Saturday morning. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Uh, bring on Kilmarnock. It's going to be so difficult at Rugby Park, especially in the current temperament of the Scottish weather and, of course, the fact it's on Astro Surf as well. What's the point of me going? Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Take care.